Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are one of my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the final budget update for the month of April. Today we are going to be wrapping up our budget for this month. Since the last budget update, we've had quite a few changes. So we're just going to get straight into it and I will give you all the details. Also shout out to the people who helped me get off my previous nails. I sort of fixed them, I kind of don't like the pink, but they look a lot better than they did last time. So thanks. As mentioned in the last video, we did receive a few more different types of income. On Monday, we got my boyfriend's check from Cox. The amount was lower than we expected, as you can see there. And then I also got paid from DoorDash on Tuesday, and that amount was lower as well. It was only $147. I was expecting to make at least $200 but I actually didn't do any DoorDash on Sunday, so that's why the amount was shorter. Then, um, unexpectedly, but not really unexpectedly, Gail got his stimulus check, which of course was $1,200. And then also, as I mentioned in my last video, we did let someone borrow $60, and like I said before, we don't usually put that into our budget and expect for it to be paid back, but we actually did get the money back, so I put here, 30th is today, $60. And I have already actually budgeted everything else, so I'm just gonna go over it. So with Miguel's paycheck, we finished up what we needed to do here. Everything was pretty much the same, except one thing that I do wanna mention is that with these paychecks, with my Allstate and um, his Cox paycheck, we were expecting to put $69 aside for the insurance that I thought was due May 1st. Our insurance is always due on the 1st. And so when we got that payment, I went inside my Progressive app to pay it, and I saw that my next payment is not actually due until June 1st and not May 1st. I know it's because I sort of had an extension for April because of everything that's going on with coronavirus, but I triple checked and spoke with someone and they did say that my next payment is not due until June 1st. And it won't be a double charge, there won't be any fees or anything like that. So that's actually that was actually really nice because I didn't have to worry about another full payment of insurance, which is $416. But the same thing as a nice surprise is that there was something unexpected that happened. Again, unexpected, but not really the unexpected. You can see here I have S ortho. So I put S for my name, Shandine, because my boyfriend also has an orthodontist bill. But anyway, so my orthodontist bill that I got in the mail came out to be $440. Well, in December, I went to the dentist and I actually signed up to get Invisalign. And we did sign a contract to make payments and everything. It was a really good deal going on where it was half off, so the total price was half off. And they're doing 0% interest on the payments. But anyways, we did that in December, and all of my information was under my mom, so they were trying to contact her instead of me, and I wasn't notified literally until this month that I was past due for, for $330 because it's $110 each month so january february march was 330 dollars and then of course another payment was due in april so a total of 440 dollars so instead of putting that money aside for insurance i put it towards that orthodontist bill that i received the same thing with my doordash paycheck instead of putting it towards the insurance i put it towards the orthodontist bill so when I got the stimulus check, that was the first thing that I did was pay off that amount that I was passed due for the orthodontist, which came out to $231 to equal the $440. Then I also put aside gas and groceries for next week, because as you can see here, we were putting the Cox paychecks on Fridays, which is when he is when he does get paid. But he was supposed to be set up for a direct deposit and he still isn't. It's been literally like a month now and I'm not sure why it's taking so long. But instead, I decided to just start putting them towards the following Monday instead of each Friday. Which means that instead of waiting for the next paycheck next Monday, this Monday, which will be the 4th, I'm going to be putting it under what we have now. So gas and groceries, $70. We've already put in our gas for next week. 
Okay, grocery is 60, of course. And I also did my car registration where you could see here that was one of the special events that we needed to get done. So we took care of the car registration and I estimated it was going to be $293 because that's how much it was last year, but it was pretty late last year. So that was including late fees. So this year I had to get emissions, which I didn't have to do last year. So the emissions testing was $17 and the actual registration was $247. So total I spent $264 renewing the registration instead of the $293. Then I also have birthday money set aside for the birthdays next month. I have three different birthdays in my family next month, but one of my peoples actually just let me know that it's okay that she doesn't get a gift. She's just hoping we spend time together, which was nice. So I only have 40 down, $20 for two people. Then I sort of just started to prepare for next month's auto pay bills. So you can see here my loan, resident link, my boyfriend's loan, Netflix, renters insurance, part of my boyfriend's second personal loan. So as you can see, the middle columns are filled out with the amount I'm expecting to pay. And because these auto pay bills are not due until next month, there's nothing in the third section. And there probably won't be for a while. And as you can see here, I have Miguel's stuff, um, $84. That included things that he ended up getting for his truck. I don't really know what those things are. I'm not really good with vehicles. But he ended up spending $84, which is fine. Then the last piece of income that we are going to be talking about for this month is the $60 that someone is repaying us. So $42 we're going to use to pay the remaining amount of the Allied loan, which is my boyfriend's second personal loan. The total is $159. So you can see those two make up the full amounts. And then the remaining $18 is going to be set aside for my boyfriend's phone bill, which is $40. So next month, we'll only have to set aside $22. So that basically wraps up the budget for April. A quick summary for how our budget went this month. Because of the two stimulus checks that we did receive this month, we were not only able to catch up with our bills, but now we are ahead and we were able to set some amount aside for next month's bills. I'm going to be posting the budget with me for May very, very soon. I'm super, super excited for this one because next month we should be getting into Dave Ramsey's baby steps. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below how your budget went for the month of April. And if you got your stimulus checks, what did you do with it? Did you do good with it? Did you get things taken care of? I want to know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you soon in my next video.